Good morning, everyone. Ann Martin Fry here, founder and CEO of Homeless to Independence, Inc. And I want to do a second update. It's been about 24 hours since my last update on this coronavirus um, event. Uh, coronavirus is a virus family. Um, SARS and Mars is both in it, plus this one. I believe they're referring to this one as the um, Nero, Nero something like that. Um, that was what they confirmed the case in Chicago as. So, um, uh, so many different stories and, and, and such, how it, how it got started. And, uh, you know what, it really doesn't matter at this point. I mean, that's up to the authorities to figure out where it got, came from and, and if anybody did actually take it um, unknowingly and take it to another country, you know, it really doesn't matter. What matters is the safety and health of the United States people, of our citizens. That's what matters more than anything. So, uh, I've learned a little bit more with regards to this virus, and I am going to link, um, some more, um, one or two more um, people, <laughs> creators, uh, that, um, and information that I was able to, uh, find out and confirm yesterday. Uh, another thing most importantly makes this one so dangerous. If you're in a room by yourself and you cough or sneeze, those water droplets go all over the place, carpet, couch, TV, remote, wall, rug. This virus stays alive for up to seven weeks. Up to seven weeks, it is still contagious. You can't get much more serious than that. And that's why this is such a huge concern. Um, I even heard... Uh, this morning through an, an additional reliable source, um, I just have to confirm it, that um, now New York, New York, Tempe has Arizona five um, cases, uh, California at least one case, um, Chicago one case, and of course, Seattle, Washington was the first case that was um, confirmed here. And it took them five days to locate the gentleman uh, before he was hospitalized. So for those five days, he was very active, they said, around people. So now that it is now even on the East Coast... Uh, you know, we're taking a lot of precautions here, even at Homeless to Independence, Inc., with regards to, um, you know, donations and such. Uh, one thing that we are doing here is um, we are disinfecting doorknobs and, and the bathroom twice a day in the morning and in the evening and yes in the morning again even though nobody uses it better be safe than sorry um i'm putting um effortant uh store brand effortant tablets in the wash um uh, in the laundry because that also disinfects i don't know to what degree this one will uh if it will survive or what because this is uh, mutating to a point that it's, I'm not sure what to, what word to use, but it is, it is a very uh, bad situation. Um, so I'm going to add a couple of people to the list down below. I think you folks need to uh, listen. Uh, one specifically is Jennifer Veterans for Truth. Uh, she, in the past, has been in the healthcare field. She might still be in the healthcare field, but she had 
a doctor interviewed. She interviewed a doctor, Dr. Gordon Penderson, last night. I was able to catch that. And, um, and he has specifically worked with Corona. Uh, and he explains how he worked and got involved with Corona. And, uh, and they, they suggest ways to, um, get through this situation. Um, I am not, I don't know. I'm not type, you know, cause I don't have mad money. I don't have a money tree in the backyard. I'm struggling too. We are str homeless to independence is struggling. I, I can't be more honest than that. I have bills even from last month. I'm still trying to cover. So, um, I don't have money to go out and buy colloidal silver or silver and take two tablespoons twice a day. I really don't have it to do that. But, um, he has a lot of information about, you know, about the virus and, uh, you know, and other things to do. So we'll catch up with Jennifer Veterans for Truth and her link will be below. I will also have that specific link for that show from last night that she did with the interview with Dr. Penderson, Gordon Penderson. And then on top, and in addition to um, that information, um, Freedom Revolution Network's um, Emergency Management Associates, Ron Tyler, is also covering um, information with regards to uh, this coronavirus. And uh, <sighs> gotta be ready. That's all I can say. This, this ain't no joke. This ain't no FF. No Fantastic Freddy. Um, this, this, is, um, this is at the utmost serious. And uh, I just want everybody to be safe. Okay? So I'll leave it at that. Thanks, folks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.